Now, another type of system of linear equation is the homogeneous system of linear equation. A system of linear equation in which each of the constant term is zero are called homogeneous. A homogeneous system of M equations in N variables has the following form. So we have an M number of equation in N unknowns where in the right side are all zero. Now, a homogeneous system of equation must have at least one solution. Specifically, if all variables in homogeneous system have the value zero, then each of the equation is satisfied, right? So let's say x sub one, x sub two, x sub three, up to x sub 10 are all zeros, then it will satisfy every equation in the system. We will refer to such solution as the trivial solution. Example, solve the system of linear equation. We have three unknowns into equation. So we form now the augmented matrix, isolating the coefficient matrix as well as with zero. And then we need to convert this to zero, of course. So what happens if we multiply row one by negative two? Row two becomes, so negative two plus two, this becomes zero. Negative two times negative one is positive two. Two plus one becomes three. Three times negative two is negative six plus three. This becomes negative three and zero. So we will have the new matrix, which is one, negative one, three, zero and zero, three, negative three, and zero, okay? Notice that uh, we can still simplify the last row by multiplying both sides by, say, one third. So we will have zero, one, negative one, and zero. And for row one, we will have one, negative one, three, and zero. So we need to convert this to zero, say, adding, um, row one with row two, so to be the new row one. So we have zero plus, zero plus one is still one. And then one plus negative one, that will be zero. Negative one plus three, that will be two. And then zero. So we will have one, zero, two, zero. And then zero, one, negative one, zero. Now, obviously we can interpret the reduce row echelon form of the matrix, we can interpret this as x sub 2 minus x sub 3 is equal to 0. And then for equation for row 1, we will have x sub 1 plus 2x sub 3 equal to 0. How do we find the solution? So since there are more unknowns than the number of equation, we will be using the parametric representation, right? According to row 2, we will have x sub 2 is simply equivalent to x sub 3. And what about x sub 1? x sub 1 is just equivalent to negative 2 x sub 3. Now, if we let the free variable to be x sub 3, say let x sub 3 be a parameter t, such that t is any real number, then we can find the solution set for this uh, system of equation as we will have x sub 1 to be negative 2t and x sub 2 is just equal to x sub 3 and x sub 3 is t. So we have negative 2t, t as well as t. Now you can assign any value for t since this t can be any real number. Okay, so again, we have here the use of the parameter to represent x sub 3. So that the solution set is simply given by negative 2 t, t, and t. Of course, if um, t is 0, then we will have the trivial solution. We come up with 0, 0, and 0. So for theorem 1.1, which is about homogeneous systems of linear equation, the number of solutions of homogeneous system or it gives us the number of solutions for a homogeneous system. Every homogeneous system of linear equation is consistent. Moreover, if the system has fewer equations than variables, just like what we did earlier, then it must have infinitely many solutions. That will be all about um, the Gaussian and Gauss-Jordan elimination. 
which is a method in solving a system of linear equation. Now, again, going back with um, Gaussian elimination, we simply apply the elementary row operations being interchanging rows, adding a constant, uh, multiplying a constant to a row and adding multiples of a row to another row will allow us to transform a system of equation into row echelon form. Now, if we continue on with the process, okay, that means we are performing a backward um, elimination such that um, all the leading ones in the row echelon form will have zeros on top of them. Okay, referring to the coefficient matrix. So we will refer to that process as your Gauss-Jordan elimination. So with the uh, Gauss-Jordan Gauss and um, Gaussian elimination, we can um, um, solve the system of linear equation. Another type of system of linear equation is the homogeneous system of linear equation where in the right side are all zeros. Here, we can see that uh, one of the solution is the trivial solution because for all values of, I um, mean, if we have x sub 1, x sub 2, up, up, up to x sub n be 0, then it will definitely um, satisfy the equation which is equal to 0. Now, if there are more equation, if there are more unknowns than the number of equation, then the system will have infinitely many solutions. And the solution can be given by a parametric representation. Okay, so that's all about today. In the next topic, we will be discussing some of the application in real life. I mean, we will be solving real life problems using uh, the method that we have learned today. So I'll see you next. Bye.